Hey guys, I'm back with part 14 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. Here in this one, we're going to be finishing the build. All we have left to do are the rest of the interior furnishings for the attic. And we also have to do the movie theater room and bowling alley room in the basement. So I'm going to start up here in the attic where we left off in the previous part. And I'm just going to go ahead and decorate this hallway. So make sure to grab some smooth quartz stairs and smooth quartz slabs, sea lanterns, paintings, and then maybe some brown carpet, orange carpet, and green carpet, or whichever colors you want. I'm going to start with the smooth quartz stairs and slabs, and just have a couple tables over on this wall. So I'm just going to leave a space right here. Just have two stairs curving together like that. A slab, a stair, and another stair. We'll go over on this side. We'll do the same thing, so we'll skip over this space. So now we just have one space in between them. We will add some decorations. But first, let's go ahead and carve out a hole in the floor. So it'll just be four blocks wide like that. We'll bring this along until we're one space away from that wall. I'll go ahead and fill this in with sea lanterns. And then I'm just going to do a pattern with the carpet. So this is what mine's looking like and I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and have a painting on this wall over here. And this wall is only one block thick so we're not really going to be able to have sea lanterns. Unless I were to have a painting right here but I'm probably not going to. So I'll just have... A four block painting right around there and that is good I'm gonna clear these blocks and grab a flower pot some flowers maybe the wither and regular skeleton skull so I'll just have a flower pot right in the middle of these tables a couple flowers and then the skeleton skulls on the side and then one final touch I'll go ahead and grab the item frame and the birch trap doors. We'll just have it right here so this looks like a drawer. So we'll leave it at that here for this hallway. I'll now head on into this bedroom and bathroom. So I gathered up a few of the blocks we're going to be using here in this bedroom. So just grab some full blocks of the smooth quartz, smooth quartz stairs, and then the smooth quartz slabs, some white concrete, and cyan concrete. I'm going to start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz, and this is going to be more of a kid's room, so the bed's going to be a bit smaller. So we'll just have two blocks right there in the corner. We can maybe have two stairs side by side, so this will be the headboard to the bed. I'll have two strips of cyan, like that. A strip of the white concrete. And another strip of cyan. And then I'll have two full blocks of the smooth quartz here, with slabs for the footboard. So I just went ahead and marked that out. I'm going to go ahead and also maybe have a full block right there and a stair. So this will just be a little table. We could add something on that. Now let me go ahead and get the snow. And I'll have maybe two layers there at the back. One here more towards the front. So those will be the pillows. Now I'll go ahead and grab an end rod. I'll have it right here with the cyan concrete block. So that looks like a lamp. And then I'm going to grab maybe the creeper head and the dragon head. We'll have the creeper head there on that table, the dragon head somewhere on the bed like that so those look like toys. And then let's grab these smooth quartz stairs again. We could maybe have a nightstand right here, so two side by side like that. And then I'll grab the zombie head and have that at the end of the nightstand. And then I'll grab a flower pot and I'll just use the blue orchid so it matches the color of the bed. So we have this corner all looking good. We could have some paintings on the walls. We could also maybe have a shelf up here. So let me grab these smooth quartz slabs. And I'll have it right around there. I think that'll be a good spot. We could also maybe have a stair at the end of it. Maybe another slab here. There we go. It is a little tall, but if we have it any lower, I think it'll be too close to the bed, like right there. I mean, it could work with just maybe the slabs. But if we have the stair, I feel like that'll be too low. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. 
I think that is fine. And then, I'll have a flower pot right there. I'll grab maybe just the fern. We have a little bit of greenery in here. And I want another decoration on top of the shelf, and pretty much my only choice are just these skeleton skulls like that. I wish they had more stuff like these, but that's about all I could really do. I wish they had just more decorations. Pretty much the only type of decoration you could have are the flower pots with some flowers. I just use these because I think they still work out pretty good. But I wish they had more stuff like this. That weren't just like the skeleton skulls and the creeper heads and the zombie heads. But I guess that's good enough. And I think I am also going to have a painting on this wall. So I'll grab that. And you know what? We really don't need sea lanterns here. And I think I'm just going to have a small painting. So something like that will be good. So this corner is looking pretty good. So now let's go ahead and look over here at this wall. I'll just have a desk. We can maybe have a shelf above the desk. We'll have a carpet in the floor. And maybe also some bushes here in the corner. So let me just clear all of that. And I'll grab these smooth quartz stairs and these slabs. And we'll shape out a desk over here. So maybe we could just have two spaces on that side. And that'll make... Okay, that'll only make the desk three blocks. So we'll go ahead and make it bigger, like five. So we'll have a stair like that. Maybe two slabs. And then two stairs curving over here. Or maybe another slab. So it's like that. So I think if we were to have the bushes in the corner, it'll be a little too cramped. So we won't have those. But I'll go ahead and have a slab right there to start off the chair. I'll grab the iron door. And then I'm going to grab the cyan banner. We'll also need the birch sign. And that's about it for the chair. So we'll have the door right behind the slab. We have the crouch, have the banner. And then we'll have the signs on the slab. So we have the chair like that we'll go ahead and grab the painting again just have to place a couple blocks around it have it right there is good and then let's grab the stone button and the stone pressure plate we'll have those in front of the painting like that so now we have a laptop and then over here i'll go ahead and have a lamp so i'll just grab the end rod and the cyan concrete just have it right there and then i'll also have a flower pot and i'll maybe grab another creeper head so we can have that right there and then we'll grab the flower pot and maybe the corn flower so that matches the rest of the room we could also maybe have a shelf right here so maybe we could just have it with slabs like that maybe a stair on that end that could work Okay, so I have it like that. On top of it, I'll just maybe have a lantern. Just right around there. And then I'll have another flower pot. And I'll just maybe use the lily of the valley. We'll have that right on the corner. And then, you know what? I'll also be sure to have the wither skeleton skull. So that finishes off this wall. Now let's have a carpet in the floor. So we'll just carve out a hole like this. Fill that in with the sea lanterns. And then we'll use the cyan carpet and the white carpet. Maybe a little something like that. Yeah, I think that'll be good. We could have another painting on this wall, maybe a four block one. So let me go ahead and mark that out. I think I want the blue one so it matches the rest of the room. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and probably just leave it at that here for this bedroom. I think this turned out really nice. I like it. So now we'll head on into the bathroom. So I just have the smooth quartz stairs, the full blocks, and the slabs. And I'll just start marking out where everything's going to be. So here at this back wall, we'll go ahead and have the bathtub. So we'll just curve together eight stairs like that. I'll go ahead and delete this. We will end up adding a light source because when it's dark outside, we probably are going to need a light source. But right now, we really don't. I'm actually going to check. Let me set it to night. Okay, now you can see it is a little dark in here, but still not too bad. It actually kind of looks cool. It's got like a purple tint to it. It might be the sunset, but I'm not too sure. Uh, but overall, we will end up adding a light source in here. Okay, I set it back. So we're all good. Now I'm going to have the sink over here. 
So a block there, skip over a space, two more. So the sink will be right there. And then maybe the toilet right here. So full block, upside down stair, and a slab. And yeah, I think this will work out good. So now, you know what? I'm also going to maybe have a table with two stairs side by side here. You know what? Let's have two full blocks and then we can maybe just cover this up with some birch trap doors so it looks like a little storage unit. And then we'll be able to have a lantern right on top of that. So this will pretty much be our main light source in here. We could also maybe have a carpet in the floor with some sea lanterns underneath, but I think that lantern will be more than enough. So now, let me just go ahead and clear all of that and gather up all the extra detail. So we'll grab the flower pot. I'll go ahead and just place that right there. And maybe another one there. You know what? We'll have a birch button there so it looks like a bar of soap. But yeah, let me go ahead and grab everything else. So we'll need the birch trap door. Then the white stained glass panes. Then the birch button, the stone button. Lever. Trip bar hook. Weighted pressure plate. Hopper. And we'll grab the bucket of water. So, we'll go ahead and have the white stained glass panes. So maybe just two rows of three. Right there. We'll have the lever pointing down so it looks like the shower head and the trip bar hook. So that's just how you turn it on. We'll fill this in with the buckets of water. We'll have the birch button there so it looks like a bar of soap. Another one over there. We can have the hopper, the lever pointing down towards it, birch trap doors in front of these full blocks over here as well. We could crouch, have one in front of the hopper, crouch again, fill in the hopper with the water. Let's decorate the toilet so we have the weighted pressure plate and the stone button. And that is pretty much everything in here. So let's go ahead and fill in the flower pot with just any type of flower. I'll go ahead and use I'll go ahead and use the pink tulip. And then over here, you know what? We could have another lantern just right there. So now I think it should definitely have enough light if it were to be dark. And then let's go ahead and grab the white banner. I'll have one there so it looks like a towel and another one right there. So now I'm going to leave it at that here for this bathroom. I think this is nice. I really like how the bedroom turned out. I think I decorated this pretty good. Now we'll head on into this final bedroom and bathroom. So now here for this bedroom, I just have the smooth quartz stairs, the full blocks and the slabs, and then some brown concrete and white concrete. I'm going to start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz in place five, right down the middle of this wall. So we're going to be left with four spaces on each side. And then I'll have the stair on each end and then upside down ones. I'll go ahead and switch to the brown concrete and have two rows of three and then a row of the white concrete and another row of the brown concrete. And then I'm just going to go ahead and have slabs wrapping all around this. So now we have the bed marked out. And then on the sides, I'm just going to have some full blocks. And then we can have some birch trap doors on the side of that. Now let me get the snow. We'll have that as the pillows. And then let's grab the birch trap doors. Place these in front of the full blocks. I'll also grab a lantern. Have that on the corner of the nightstand. Let me clear all of that. And I'll grab the flower pot. And I'll just use some ferns in here. So that's looking pretty good so far. We could have maybe, you know what, we'll have a storage unit over here. So let's grab the blocks of the quartz and the birch trap doors. We'll have this six blocks. Cover it up. And I'll go ahead and have two smooth quartz stairs side by side on top of that. Yeah, I think that fits in pretty well. What could we do over on uh, this wall? You know what? We could have a cutout. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll delete these three spaces. We'll bring it all the way up until we're left with one space at the top. We could have the smooth quartz stairs. So facing up and upside down here at the bottom. Then we could have two sideways ones in each corner there. I'll grab these slabs and fill that in. So now we have a nice cutout in the wall there. 
I'll fill that in with a flower pot and maybe another fern. And then I'll also have maybe the wither and regular skeleton skull, so I'll just grab that from here. Have that on each side. So that looks pretty good. And then maybe over here on this wall, we could have, I mean, we could have a desk, but I don't think I want another desk. So maybe we could just have a table. So I'll grab these smooth quartz stairs and these slabs and just have a simple table right here, like that. I'll grab a flower pot and maybe the azure bluette. Have that right there. And then I can maybe have another skeleton skull just right there. And then let's grab the birch trap door and then the item frame. We'll have that so it looks like a drawer. The final thing we'll do in this room is a carpet around the edge of the bed. So we'll carve out some space like this. Wrap it all the way around. And yeah, I think that'll be good. So let's fill that in with the sea lanterns. This will be the main light source here for this room. And then I'll grab the white carpet, the brown carpet, and maybe even the gray. We'll just start with the brown over here on this corner. Then we can maybe have the gray and the rest of it white. And I think that'll be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably just leave it at that here for this room. I think this looks good. So now we'll head on into this bathroom. This will be the final room we do up here at the attic and then we'll be jumping down into the basement. So once again, I have the smooth quartz stairs, the blocks and the slabs. I'll go ahead and start with maybe the blocks. Look over here. We'll have three. We'll skip over a space have one more we could actually have double sinks here so i'll do that so like a his and her sink and then we'll look over here we'll have the bathtub so just maybe starting here at this corner or we can maybe move it over we'll go over to this corner have eight curving all together like that and then we can have maybe two full blocks there and I'm trying to think if we're going to be able to maybe extend it out to have another storage area. Well, I know we'll have the toilet right here in front of this window. So a full block, the slab, and the stair. And we could just have a table with two stairs side by side right there. And then I'll go ahead and move over the toilet. So there we go. And then let's maybe have a carpet in the floor. So we'll carve out a rectangle right down the middle. Fill it in with sea lanterns. And then I'll kind of match the bedroom. So I have the brown carpet, the gray carpet, and the white carpet. So I'll maybe have just a strip of white right there. Then some gray and the rest of it brown. So I think that'll be good. And now let's just pretty much gather up all of the extra decoration. So the birch trap door, white stains glass panes, the lever, tripper hook, the hopper, the stone button and birch button, the weighted pressure plate. Let's go ahead and have the hoppers here. We'll have the birch trap doors in front of the full blocks and then we have to crouch, have it in front of the hopper. We'll have the levers pointing down towards the hoppers. We can have a couple birch buttons. So two bars of soap like that. Maybe another one right there. We can have is the white stained glass. Oh, you know what? We won't worry about white stained glass panes because I can't really have it anyway. So this will be mainly just a bathtub. It won't have a shower. So then we'll just have a tripwire hook right there. So that looks like the faucet. And then let's decorate the toilet. So stone button and weighted pressure plate. And then that's pretty much everything. So I'll clear that. I'll grab the bucket of water. We have to fill in the bathtub. And crouch and fill in the hoppers. We'll grab the white banner. Have one here. You know what? We'll just have one right down the middle. And then we'll look over here and have one just like that. On the end of this little table, we could just have a flower pot. I'll just use another fern. And then maybe another one right here. 
and I'll probably leave it at that here for this bathroom. We'll head on out. So we decorated the entire attic. I think this turned out pretty nice. We'll head all the way back down into the basement. So all throughout this giant house, all the way down here. And you know what? Let me see. Could we get rid of this now? Yes, we could. So this is bright enough. We did have the light up here, right above this staircase, right behind those paintings. So that kind of gave off a nice light source here for this. I'm going to grab the sea lanterns and we could actually just have a painting right here on this wall. So I'll carve out some blocks like that, fill that in with sea lanterns. And now that is actually a really nice light source. We can't have it over here because this is only one block thick, but we have one there. Could have another one right here. Maybe a little bit higher. And then I'll grab these smooth quartz stairs. I have three of these curving together down here at the bottom, so that'll be a table. Let me grab the paintings. And then I'll also grab the item frame and the birch trap door. So I have this in front of the table so it looks like a drawer. And then let me cover this up with the painting. And up here as well. So that is good. And then let's just have a flower pot with whichever flower you want. I'll just use maybe this one, and that'll be right on top of that table. So we'll leave it at that here for this little hallway. We'll head on into the right and decorate this hallway. So I'll just grab the smooth quartz stairs again, have a table here. Let's also grab the smooth quartz slabs. So it'll maybe just be a five block table. So I have a sideways stair there, one curving into it, maybe two slabs and another sideways stair. And then I'm gonna carve out a hole here in the floor. Filled in with sea lanterns. And then I'll cover it up with some carpet. So maybe white, light gray, and maybe like yellow. So that is good. And then right here, we could just have some more decorations. So probably just another flower pot. I'll grab the dandelion so that matches the yellow that we have here. I'll have that right in the middle. And then the wither and regular skeleton skull. Like that. And we'll go ahead and just leave it at that here for this hallway. We'll head on into this bathroom. So like always, we're just going to grab the smooth quartz stairs the smooth quartz slabs, and then the full blocks. And I'll probably, yeah, I'll look over here. I'll have the bathtub, so eight smooth quartz stairs curving together. And then probably the sink over here, like that. And then the toilet right in the middle, so full block, stair, and a slab. So now I'm gonna gather up all of the extra detail. So birch trap doors, white stained glass panes, hopper, lever, trip bar hook, the stone button, birch button, weighted pressure plate, and then the bucket of water. So we'll go ahead and fill in the bathtub with the water. We'll have the white stained glass panes on this side. We'll have the lever pointing down as the shower head and then the trip bar hook right underneath that. We'll look over here, fill that in with the hopper, have the lever pointing down towards it. We'll decorate the toilet so we have the stone button and the weighted pressure plate. We'll have the birch button on the sink, next to the sink. We'll go ahead and crouch. Have the birch trap doors. Crouch again, fill this in with the bucket of water. And then I think that is everything for all of the blocks we just used. So I'll clear that. I'll grab maybe a lantern. And then a flower pot. I'll just maybe use the, I'll use the corn flower. And then we also need the white banner. So I have the banner right there as a towel. Have another one right there. And then we'll have maybe a lantern there. And then a flower pot with the corn flower. And we'll leave it at that here for this bathroom. So I'll head on through into the movie theater room. So let me clear all of that. And I'll gather up the blocks we're gonna be using for the couches and for the entire back wall there.
So I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using here in the movie theater room. So we just have some white concrete, smooth quartz slabs, some paintings, smooth quartz stairs, and smooth quartz blocks, gray concrete, black concrete, stone button, item frame, then a music disc, flower pot, and then four different flowers. So I'll start by marking out where the couches are going to be. So I'm going to start with the white concrete. We're going to be two spaces away from that wall and the back wall. So that means we have to carve out a block right here. So two spaces there, two spaces there. Bring this over by an extra two. And then out by one on each side. This is where we're going to mark out the white concrete. We'll delete that, replace it with a slab. We're going to be two spaces away from it and have another couch right here. Now we want to go down and just make sure we're one space away from these stairs. And we're also going to be lined up with the other couches. So I have one right here. Another one on this side. So we have all of those marked out. So now I'm going to go ahead and mark out where the paintings on the walls are going to be. And I thought of these pretty much as movie posters. So I thought it was a pretty cool feature to have. So I'm going to actually pay attention to where this sea lantern is. I want to make sure the right side of the painting is lined up with that sea lantern. And it's going to be a total of six blocks. So I have the painting right here and the right side of it will be lined up with that sea lantern. So I'll just have maybe that and then maybe two smaller ones below it. So that'll be one. And now I want to line up where this sea lantern is. I want to make sure the left side of the painting is lined up with that. So we'll have another six spaces here and then you'll be able to see we're going to have three spaces in between them. So over here I'll just have maybe a painting like that. Two smaller ones. And then a two block one up here at the top. And I think that'll be good. And now you can see these are three spaces apart. So we have three spaces away from that wall. There's going to be three spaces here because we're going to be adding an extra layer here. So they're perfectly even. So now I'm going to go ahead and have two more on this side, just like that. So that looks good. Now the final thing we're actually going to be doing in this room, there's not really too much to this room. So we just have to do this back wall where the TV is. So we'll start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz and just have a pillar going up in each corner. And then we're going to be one space away from that and have another strip here. And then switch to the smooth quartz stairs. We'll have one facing up and upside down in between those at the bottom. And then we'll skip over one space, have another upside down stair, skip over another space and have one more. Then we'll curve together a bunch of smooth quartz stairs down here at the bottom. So I have one on its side here at the bottom and then an upside down one above that. We'll do the same on this side. And that will curve them all together down here at the bottom and at the top. And then all the way here at the top, we'll have a layer of upside down smooth quartz stairs. And then all this other space is going to be the TV, so we'll fill it in with black concrete. We'll have a stone button at the bottom left. And then these empty spaces here, we'll go ahead and have a gray concrete block behind it. And now we pretty much just have to add all the extra decoration. So grab the item frames. We'll have three on each side of the TV. So these are going to be speakers. And then I'll just clear everything and grab all of this other stuff. So within the item frames, we'll have the music disc. And then we have the flower pots on these little shelves. And then we'll fill it in with the flowers. And now I'm going to leave it at that here for the movie theater room. So I head on out and we have the final room of the entire build and that is the bowling alley. 
So I gathered up just about every block that we're going to be using here for the bowling alley. So make sure to grab some smooth quartz slabs, white concrete, jungle wood planks, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz block, iron bars, iron trap door, sea lantern, and a painting. So I'm going to start by marking out the lanes. So make sure you have your smooth quartz slabs. Look over here at the left where this final block of the grass remains and we'll delete a strip of 12. We'll go ahead and fill this in with the slabs. Next to that, we'll delete three spaces of the rest of the grass. Push this back until we line up where that slab ended up. And we'll fill this in with the jungle planks. And then next to this, we'll have another strip of the smooth quartz slabs. And then let's delete another strip here. We'll fill this in with full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll replace this dirt here with the white concrete. And then let's go right next to this quartz, delete another strip, we'll fill it in with slabs again. And then we'll have another three spaces which will be filled in with the jungle planks. And then another strip which will be filled in with slabs. And then this next one will be the full blocks of the smooth quartz again. Another strip of the slabs. And then three spaces of the wood. And then the final space here will be the slabs again. And then we have to replace this dirt with the white concrete. So we have all of the lanes marked out. So this is like the gutter area, the actual lane itself. And then right down the middle here is pretty much where the bowling balls would go into the little mechanism down here and come back to you through here. So now make sure to switch back to your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll go all the way down here at the end, fill in these two spaces and bring it all the way up to the ceiling. We'll do the same over here. And then we'll switch to the smooth quartz stairs. Have one facing up right up against that. And then we'll switch to the slabs. Bring this along until we are lined up with the full blocks that we have here. So I we'll have another stair in the opposite direction. And then we'll have a full block and another upside down smooth quartz stair right there. We'll do the same on this side. So we have the slabs until we meet up with the edge of the full blocks. We have the stair, the full block, and then another stair. So it's looking like this so far. We'll switch to the iron bars and have a total of five here at the back until you meet up with the edge of where we placed all these blocks. So it'll be right there. Let's go ahead and replace all these grass blocks. I actually forgot to grab them, but we're going to be using the quartz bricks. So I'll just swap out the jungle planks. We won't be using those anymore. So I'll swap out all this grass. And this is pretty much the space. If the balls were to get stuck, you'd be able to go back here and fix it. So now all that is filled in. Now make sure you have your smooth quartz slabs or we're going to place a layer on top of these iron bars. So it's looking like that. So now make sure you have your full blocks of the smooth quartz. And we're going to place three layers right above those slabs. So we're just left with half a space in between them. I'm going to go ahead and mark out where all the sea lanterns are actually going to be. So we'll grab those. And I'll have maybe just one 
right around there. So we just left two spaces. They don't have to be anywhere specific, but I do want them lined up with the lanes. We'll have another one maybe like three spaces away from that. And then maybe one more here, three spaces away from that middle one. Cover these up with the iron trap doors. And we'll do the same for all of the other spaces. So I think those should be good where they are. I don't think they're going to get in the way of anything we're going to have along the ceiling, but if they do, we will make adjustments, but they should be fine. We'll go ahead and have another strip right along here because it is pretty dark. So we'll just line up where those ones are. We'll be two spaces away from that wall, and we're just four spaces here. So we'll fill in a block there, have another one right there, and then one more right here and now let me see uh yeah that is bright enough you can see it's really dark there at the back so we have to fill in some sea lanterns there as well so let's see we'll probably just line up right here right down the middle so we have two spaces there and a space on each side we'll line up here have another one and then line up right here and that should be enough light here at this back side yeah, that looks good. We'll head back through. Let's see what it's looking like. Yeah, this is looking good. So now there's just pretty much one more thing we have to do for the lanes. And that is like pretty much the screen where it shows your score. But I wanted to make sure to add a little something going right along here. So make sure you have your smooth quartz stairs. We'll have one. It's a little bit weird here. So it's kind of, yeah, it's like that. So we have a stair that's facing up like that and then upside down underneath it. We'll do the same here. Just like that. And then switch to your smooth quartz slabs. We'll have it lined up here at the top stair. We'll push this back until we are right on the edge of the stairs that we have down here at the bottom. So it'll be lined up where this final slab is, just right there. We'll do the same at this side. Like that. So now switch back to the smooth quartz stairs and once again we're lined up where that one is and we're going to have pretty much the same thing we did there so we have to have a stair that is facing up which i don't think i'm gonna be able to do so we have to pretty much place it like that and then an upside down one underneath that we'll do the same thing on this side and then we'll have another one facing up right behind that one and then a full block underneath that. Then we have to go right down the middle, so let's go ahead and actually grab the smooth quartz slabs. We'll have two on each side lined up where these back stairs are. Then we have to have another stair that is facing up right down the middle here. Am I able to do that? Yes, just like that. Oh wait, no, it has to be the other way around. <laughs> like that, there we go. Then we'll have another one facing up right there. And then another full block. Then we have to have an upside down stair right behind that. So there we go. Now we're going to place the painting. Oh, not like that. We have to place it like that. So this pretty much is just the screen that shows your score. So there we go. Then over at this wall, we just have one more thing. And we're just going to have the racks here, which will then have different colored concrete blocks so it looks like the bowling balls. So we'll have one space over here. We'll curve together three smooth quartz stairs. We'll do the same on this side. And with that, we're going to leave two spaces on each side and have five smooth quartz stairs curving together right there. Now, you could go ahead and just grab a bunch of different colored concrete blocks. And we could just place all of these now. So something like that. So that now completes the build. And I'm going to have one more video up after this, which is just the tour video, which is pretty much just a showcase throughout the entire build. So I'm going to leave it at that here for part 14 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. And the build is now complete. So if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.